what's up everybody so I've got a good one today this is gonna be half of the aisle they should have emptied the bottom of this one because this one also is not working well half of them are working but I've got for sure these three six ten nope eleven eleven doors they are froze up they're gonna have to all be washed so like I said they emptied some of it but I've got to get the rest of it because you know I ask them once but then I'm not gonna keep asking them so I can either get mad about it and say I'm not fucking doing it or I can just do it and be done with it but the question is why did these freeze up do you guys know why can anybody tell me if you guys can that's great y'all are the pros in the room but if you don't know if you can't quite figure out why make sure you watch the end of the video and I will reveal it so luckily these cases all have these little valves here on the liquid lines all of these cases have like absolutely no airflow the one that is still stuck down there has a little bit in a couple of the doors but that's it how do you guys like the way I stack my baskets pretty freaking genius huh there's, there's that one and then I got that one so two baskets already Ooh, it's so freaking cold in here oh my god Mm -hmm. I hate freezers that aren't broken. Okay, so here I am. I got it all. Got them all emptied out. So that's uh, 16 doors. Okay? All the fans are running. And so I'm letting them defrost. I got the hand valve off. That one there. So that's a three-door case. Three-door case. Four-door case. Okay, five-door case. So I don't have 16 doors. I've got... Oh, five, 11 doors emptied and falling out. Three cases. Hand valve or valve, another valve. We're letting ambient air go in. I'm going to go to the Danfoss and then also enable a manual defrost. Motor room is way up there. I think we've been in here before. Maybe look up here in the video corner. Maybe I'll throw a, a card for another video in this same room. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in right here, the ones on the very bottom there, and then on the next page, there's two other ones. All right, so they got them labeled wrong for sure. So, D3. D3, 16 doors. So, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Now I'm putting it in defrost. Once you select the case, you scroll uh, over to the right, hit services, and then you'll scroll uh, manual defrost. Manual on. Okay, it's on. Now this should go to a D. Instead of an I, it's changed to a D. Come on, man. There we go. So here's how I run my hose. When the store is open, I need to get it done. That's how I do it. This is why defrost cycles just don't work. Because no matter what, you never get all the ice. You have to wash the coil. So that's the first one. We got another another one there, three sectioner. Then we got another one there, five sectioner. And then I gotta do that one over there because this one still is not working. No air. And right now it is 10 p.m. Hopefully this is hot.
If it's hot, then we're gonna have a good night. If it's not hot, then it's gonna suck. Ooh, I think it's hot. Yes, it's hot. Ha ha ha. No, you just gotta watch for the drains. Make sure the drains don't plug. Oh man, this is a good volume of water. Oh, and it's so super hot, it's fantastic. Oh, it's gonna go so quick. Wow, that's some fast water right there. I gotta slow it down a little. I don't need it that fast. Okay, I'm gonna back it down. Probably like that. Sorry that. There, that's a little better. I might actually turn it up a little bit here in a second. See, because there's ice pretty freaking deep down in these things, as y'all know. This one's draining real good, so I'm gonna turn it up a little more. There, I like that better. Oh yeah, and it's nice and super hot too. Oh, it's still cold right there. I still got ice. So yeah, I still got ice in here. There's some. Y'all yep, see? Get your coil washed this good you can put it back together and start it up i say it's okay because you've got most of the ice out but make sure that down there in the middle you know that down there like way in the very middle core of it that you don't have a big ball of ice blocking it everywhere if you do, you'll have to take this thing apart again and do this all over again in a couple days. You hear that noise right there? I don't know if you can hear that or not. That means I'm hitting ice. You can hear the ice breaking down when I hit it. And you can see little pieces of ice floating away.
and you can see the ice a little better. Definitely got some ice in there. Now this is very common. You'll see that when they stock these cases, they push the, the product too far back and it causes the back wall to cave in. And it doesn't look like it was really causing much problem here, but it was causing some. So just when you have it empty, you might as well pop the wall out. Get it back the way it should be. itself you see not hang open like this now in order to adjust these you've got to you've got to manage to get these torsion bar nuts turned it's really difficult and you need a short or you need a really thin half inch wrench to be able to do it. 
And I tried to do it with one hand here in the video, but it just doesn't work out. Gross. Then, on like three of the doors, I wasn't able to get it. Even with both hands. And even with uh, the right wrench, the short wrench. Because they don't, they just don't hold. The, the teeth on the bottom of the torsion bar is messed up and they, they get rusted out so they, they need to be replaced. Here's the last case. Now it is frozen. That's what I'm talking about. back here you see that freaking ice it's growing back there all the way in the back that's something that we miss a lot of times all right so I am all done so the problem is that the doors need to be fixed they need new torque rods because they don't self-close well about half of them don't, half of them do. So, we cannot have that. I always want to just pop them a little bit and see if they close. Like that one doesn't work. So I actually went through all these already and tried to tighten them. And those torque bars are just worn out and they can't, uh, they can't tighten anymore, but this one here, this one here is bad, so this one will, will swing open and it will just hang open until somebody closes it. So you can't have this on freezers. The doors have to close. So that's what caused it. That's the grand finale, everybody. Torque rods. You gotta take the door off, torque rod go up, all the way up the, the door. I'll show you guys, I'll show you, okay? Anyways, another night, I'm ready to go home. I'm fucking tired. Thanks for watching.